For practice it, self-check 5.13 sentinel min max. We need to write a sentinel loop that repeatedly prompts the user to enter a number and once the number negative one is typed, displays the maximum and minimum numbers that the user has entered. So what we're going to do here is we need a sentinel loop. A sentinel is basically a constant. So we're going to have int sentinel and this is going to be negative one. And this is going to run until this negative one is typed. So we're getting user input here. We're going to need a scanner. We'll have scanner and we'll call it input and set it equal to new scanner with a system dot in to get user input. And then, well, we need to run this at least once and then, but, so we need to run this part at least once, but we are not running this. So before our loop, we need to print this out. We'll have a system dot out dot print line, or this should be print since our user input is going to be on the same line. We have our quotation marks in here like this, and then we will have a scanner to pick up the input. We'll have input dot next int and in your input dot next we're going to store this in a temporary value we can call this answer and so for this current step our maximum and our minimum are both going to just be answer because it's going to be the only number we're given so we will set our int max equal to answer we will also send our int min equal to answer. Now we can run our loop as long as answer does not equal negative one. Otherwise, we won't need to do anything. We'll just end it here. So in our loop, we have to um, check if our current answer is greater than our current max. So in here, what we're going to do is have a system.out.print statement. And in our system.out.print statement, we're basically just going to have the same thing right here, where we prompt the user for something and we get their answer, or we get their input.nextInt, and we store it in answer. Then we are going to check if this answer is greater than our max. If our answer is greater than our max, then we have a new max. And we'll set max equal to answer. However, if our answer is less than our minimum value, that means we have a new minimum. And so, minimum or min will equal answer. And we're gonna keep running this loop until we get negative one as our answer. And we can see that we have some problems here. As we can see, even though we type in negative one here, this is just to break out of our loop. And if um, we do have a negative one, it's not gonna go in our minimum. However, if this part is typed before our if statements, it is going to store negative one as our minimum because negative one will be less than, um, let's say two for example. So what we're going to have to do is move this down here. This is the same reason why we can't have a do while loop, which will run this once and then check the parameter or the, or the case. So we have to have this afterwards because we don't want negative one to be stored in here. And this will only run if this is not negative one. So if if the user types a negative one here, it will never hit this while loop and it will just print the next code that we type out. And then we'll run through this loop and if we type a negative one in here, we're going to break out of our loop, not going through our if statements again. So this should complete our while loop. And then we need to print out this. We're only going to print it out if our minimum is not equal to negative one. Because if we type negative one 
in here before we even enter a while loop, it's going to set max and minimum equal to negative one. And we can't print out um, this maximum and minimum. So practice it's a little vague, but I think they mean that they don't want us to print out any of these lines or either of these lines at all if we are past the negative one for the first time. So we will write if min does not equal sentinel. So basically, if min does not equal negative one, we are going to print this. And if it does, we are not going to print our max and min, which would be set to negative one. So in here, we'll write system.out.println and we'll have maximum was in quotes and then we will have max. We're going to have the same thing but for min and we will paste or we will change this to spell minimum and this to spell or this to say min. This would also work if we wanted to set this to max too. So we could say if max does not equal to sentinel or if min, which we have here, does not equal to sentinel. Either should work. And if we submit this, there is an error. And that's because I accidentally set answer to be type string. This should be type int since we're taking a next int from our uh, user input because the user is entering an integer. And after we submit this, we can see that we have passed all of the tests. So this is the code that will give us this answer. And the reason why we cannot do a do while loop is because we have this part where we cannot have a negative one be our minimum answer. Otherwise, we probably could do this in a do while loop.